If you don't think male privilege exists, you are wrong. It's not so much that people don't think male privilege exists. It's that they call you out constantly on talking about it all the time and not even attempting to acknowledge the far more numerous privileges that women and various other categories of people have. Gender bias is often ignored because it seems invisible and subjective to those who benefit from it. But trans men have experienced both sides of the gender divided society, so I'm gonna let them explain male privilege in their own words. Yeah, you heard that right. Lacey Green's big idea to show the imbalance of advantages between the genders, to get input from both genders regarding the issue, is to collect a bunch of anecdotes. Why? Because it's Lacey Green. One of the titans of far-left stupidity. Male privilege is the bullshit idea that men are better than anybody else. Wrong. Male privilege is the bullshit idea that men are given institutional advantages while everyone else is given institutional disadvantages. If you're going to peddle this tired narrative, then be consistent with it. Male privilege is the ability to move about the world in the way that you want to. It's the experience of being left alone and free to be yourself. You know what would be a real privilege? Being able to do all of that without a bunch of hateful brainwashed faggots telling you how terrible it is that you are a man in the first place. Privilege is also like the absence of experience. What absolute garbage. So if I join the army and I survive a bunch of battles, receiving promotions every step of the way until I become a general, and I don't have to go out into the field and risk my life anymore, you're saying that I didn't get that position because of my experience? This may be a new idea to you, but not all privileges are handed out for free. In fact, a majority of them are earned through hard work and experience. As a man, I have the privilege of getting on New York City subway train at 1 in the morning and don't have to worry about a man wagging his dick at me. No, you would have far worse things to worry about, like getting robbed, killed, or mugged. The first time I noticed I had male privilege was when I was walking home from hanging out with a bunch of friends who happened to be women. They had expressed being a little worried about walking home in the dark, and while I was walking, I realized that I had no worry in the world about being talked to or stared at or followed or assaulted. And you never once considered the fact that women having a man next to them to protect them from potential attackers is a privilege that they have as well? So a man could just walk down the street and no one is going to bother him, no one's going to ask him to smile, no one's going to ask him where he's going, no one's going to ask him if he's married, no one's going to ask him if they can walk with him, but this is something that I know women experience every day. If the worst things that women have to deal with are people complimenting them and walking next to them while trying to initiate a conversation with them, I'd say they have it pretty fucking good. Especially compared to men. First time I ever experienced male privilege was on social media. I've always been the type to express myself and talk real crazy. And when I did it prior to transition, it wasn't okay. But the minute that I transitioned and everybody looked at me as that male figure, it was like, oh man, that's hilarious. I'm like, hey guy, I've been hilarious all this time. So what are you talking about? Yeah, I call bullshit. If men were considered funnier than women, then I seriously doubt there would be as many successful female comedians as there are. An unexpected aspect of male privilege for me was being taken way more seriously than I was before and it's funny because I have all the same ideas, still thinking about the same things, and yet sometimes I would literally just be talked over or laughed at. Now people will often quiet down. You want to know the amazing thing about anecdotes? You can imagine any type of personal scenario, whether true or false, and use it to support anything. And having experienced that from both sides of the spectrum, as female and male, I call bullshit on that right now. How does spending one quarter of your life as a certain gender, and then the rest of it as another, make you an expert on privileges and experiences that both genders face? According to people who support this type of rhetoric, men are born into privilege. So you would have no real understanding of the true scope of men's privilege, would you? You people were not born as men. At least I think you weren't. I'm not really an expert on the trans condition. But my point is, you cannot claim to fully understand the privilege that one sex encounters and the oppression that another one encounters because you have existed as both sexes. If you grew up a woman, then became a man, 
you missed out on all the privileges and issues men face in their youth. Conversely, when you become a man, you also miss out on the privileges that older women have. The same logic applies to the complete reverse. Male privilege and sexism isn't just a problem for women, but it's also about liberating ourselves. Masculinity is very diverse. Masculinity is what it is to you. You don't have to be a brute. You don't have to be an athlete. And my masculinity looks like a man who likes puppies and babies. But if someone else's idea of masculinity is being a physically active, stoic, hardworking, and intense individual, then they are problematic, as Lacey would put it. I was in the club this night, and my brothers are around. I think it might have been single ladies. Something came on. And I'm like, oh, oh, the single ladies. Oh, the single. And they go, you're a man now. Men don't wild out to Beyonce like that. And I said, but it's music. Amazing. You highlight this double standard. A legitimate advantage that women have over men. And yet, to you... Men are still the only ones with privilege. If a guy wants to really understand male privilege and understand what it is, talk to women. Step back, listen to what other people are going through. Again with the listening. When are you assholes going to encourage other people to actually do shit? And why would I listen to women to hear about the problems faced by trans people? Why can't I just simply ask trans people? You're doing nothing wrong by having privilege. It's just what you do with it that matters. So what, according to you, would be the best way for someone to utilize their male privilege? If they use their privilege that way, is it no longer a bad thing? I'm getting really sick and tired of how vague you assholes are being with this whole privilege shit. Look, I am not opposed to the idea of acknowledging the existence of male privilege. But the problem is that you people never stop making videos that explain it in a way that very much implies that men are the only ones with privilege. I will admit that men and white people have privilege when you, Lacey, and people like you will admit that women and various minorities such as black people and Asians admit that you have a very handsome amount of privilege yourselves. But that won't happen. That day will never come. Because being insidiously ignorant and morally disingenuous is how you pay your bills. You make a living off of weakening the character of women and minorities. You make a living off of telling teenage girls and minorities how victimized they are, and how the only solution to their problem is to do nothing except blame and condemn every normal white male whom they come into contact with. You make me sick, Lacey, and I sincerely hope that your career falls to pieces and teaches you a hard lesson about the venomous philosophy you are championing. Farewell, all of you, and hunt well.